A fitting backdrop for a game of massive significance. The stage is set, a packed house at the ready, awaiting two teams who like nothing better than to test themselves on a stage like this. The tricky part is predicting which side will outfox the other. We're live on EA TV. This is the scene here at the Hawthorns. Great to have you with us. I'm Derek Ray, and sitting next to me with his tactics charts at the ready is Stuart Robson. And looking forward to bringing you the cut and thrust of the championship. It's West Bromwich Albion, and they face Sunderland. Well, Derek, we can talk about coaches and their methods, but it's now down to the players. Which ones are going to stand out? Who will affect the game? And who will have the greater desire? It should be a cracking game, though. A look at the initial 11 for West Bromwich Albion. Well, it's certainly a back four, but I think we'll see a lot of rotation in midfield. They just need to have a good understanding about when to support the front player and when to drop that little bit deeper. It certainly looks like a 4-5-1 to me. And the starting 11 for Sunderland. Well, on paper, they look a very balanced team. But the three advanced midfielders must at times make runs beyond the centre forward. Otherwise, they might just lack a bit of penetration. Always difficult to predict in advance who might decide a game, but you could make a strong case for this man, I think, Stuart. What are you expecting to see from him? Well, three goals in the last three games. He's in great form at the moment. He's playing with confidence as well. Every chance he could add to that tally today. Luke O'Neill. Ballard. O'Neill. Being pressed and pressed high. Jack Clark. Luke O'Neill. Clark. On attacking possibilities. A bit wasteful from Sunderland. Dian Ghana and a chance to whip it in here and it wasn't a productive cross Luke O'Neill Ballard O'Neill looking position you've got to say and a good challenge to bring that attack to an end Dian Ghana winning it back high up the pitch making progress and there it is 1-0 the efforts have been rewarded and look at the celebrations. Well, let's take another look. And wow, how cleanly does he hit that? The keeper was never going to save it. What a good goal that is. And back underway, 1-0 it is. Townsend. Kipre. Bartley. Townsend. Dian Ghana. It's with Kyle Bartley. 
West Brom unable to hold on to the ball. Now a decent position. Straight forward for the keeper. Mowat. Intercepted effortlessly. Intense pressure. And Sunderland have it back now. Excellent defending. And fed forwards. Really sound defending. It's still alive. Great block again. Good example of pressing without the ball. Bradley Dack. Possession seeded by the Black Cats. Well, the hosts have had most of the ball in the last 15 minutes, and they've created chances. It just now needs one of those chances to be taken, but you feel it's coming. Well, let's see if they can win the ball back and create something else. Foiling his opponent completely. Poor pass. Well, a really good run. Well, good technique in terms of how he struck it. an important intervention there will be one minute added on at the end a danger here as he runs at them credit to them for winning back possession so half time then the first 45 minutes have come and gone here at the Hawthorns this man will get most of the plaudits for his contribution up to this point, Stuart. Well, I thought he had a really effective first half. Not only did he get the goal that gave them the lead, but his general play was really good. He was a constant threat, and I'm sure we'll see more of him in the second half. So back underway here into the second half. Onaya. Hanging on to the ball in this fashion suits them. Daniel Ballard. Luke O'Neill.
And the textbook interception. Chance to play it in. Oh, he needs to clear it here. Well, they know they need to stop him. And it might be. Oh, a tremendous block. Did really well to get through. Has a go. And denied by the keeper. Impressive. Trying to pick out a teammate. And a good take under duress there. Grady Diangana. Really clever pressing. Showing a lot of guile there. It's there for him. Really good diving save. The game of the blue card part at second reception. Please move it immediately. Thank you. Well, as you can see, Sunderland have controlled the possession in the last 15 minutes and look like scoring every time they go forward. They do need to extend their lead, though, while they're playing so well. Furlong. And the cross not quite accurate enough. Bradley Dack on the offensive it should be and a goal to increase their advantage to two overall that little bit of a cushion now it's all about keeping the concentration Well, here it is again, and the way they've been playing, that was always going to happen. They've certainly been piling on the pressure here. <laughs> 2 0 here, and the ball is moving again. Bradley Dag. Bartley. Kipre Townsend It's with Kyle Bartley Darnell Furlong Kipre Townsend It's with Kyle Bartley Furlong Twenty minutes remaining Difficult to stop him. Well, it came to nothing in the end. Can they do something positive on the counter-attack? Oh, might be. Oh, the keeper making sure that was pushed well away from danger. Okai Yokushu. Prolong. Is it going to be? Well, it might still work out for them. Well, no way through in the end. And that's great work to make sure it didn't go over the line. Possession lost by Sunderland. And they need to get tighter. You certainly can't fault them for trying as they keep the pressure on. Well, that was a decent effort, and you just sense the goal's coming here. And a substitution in the offing.
substitution for West Bromwich Albion. Time for a change then. Number 27, Alex Moat, to be replaced by number 14, Nathaniel Shalabar. Here it is now, a substitution. Number 11, Brady Tiangana, to be replaced by number 19, John Swift. Take some progress with the ball at his feet. And a chance to whip it in here. Chalabar. And the flag raised. Offside it is. Substitution for Sunderland. Coming off the pitch, number 46, Bradley Dack. To be replaced by number 10, Patrick Roberts. Well, they've been getting the substitute ready, and now they will make the personnel change. And West Brom with the ball again. Well, very effective play in possession. Chance, maybe. Well, wasn't totally in control. And a corner kick conceded here. Trying to deliver it accurately. But he couldn't quite keep the header down. Goal kick. Thomas Asante. Can he finish this? And it wasn't taxing for the keeper. And not a great challenge. Free kick here. Well, wait, don't go anywhere. We're going to have five additional minutes. Rosine. But he keeps going. Well, that's splendid play. Firing it in. And a fine stop.
played over. Townsend. Well, far from the cross. And the referee blows the whistle, bringing to an end a disappointing day for West Bromwich Albion. Three points squandered. Well, Derek, they were certainly off the pace today. Beaten to the ball in too many key areas. They need to refocus now and perform better next time out. But it just seems that this game, he's been a step ahead of his opponents in every way, Stuart. Well, he gave that back line a torrid time, didn't he? He was far too sharp for them, always looking to play on the shoulder, took his goals well too. Clearly the difference maker today.